guys, welcome to my desk tour. I just recently did some changes to my desk, so I thought it'd be fun to walk you through all the different components that make up my workspace. Start off here with the desk. This desk comes from Ikea. I will link all of the items that I can in the description box below. It's quite large, as you can see, but I love it for that reason because it allows me to put all my notebooks and textbooks on my desk and it still gives me plenty of space to do practice questions and work. On the left I have this paper organization bin that organizes my lined and printer paper. Up top I have this tray from Poppin and it is just holding some notebooks I will be using for all of my notes this year. A whole video in which I explain how I take my notes is linked down below. Then to the right I have this new little box that I got from HomeSense and it is this wooden gold box that I have all of my bullet journal black pens in. As you can see, I have quite a lot of black pens. They're my favorite thing to use and I go through a lot of them. So just to keep things simple, I keep it in this box and then if I ever am bullet journaling in my living room, I can just take this with me and I'm good to go. Some more pens are being held by this pen holder from Poppin and this, I think it's actually supposed to be like a mini vase or a candle light holder, but I'm using it as a pen holder. And this is also from HomeSense. If you can't already tell, I have a little bit of a pen addiction. Then I've got my desktop in the center of my desk. I mean, it's nothing too special, it's a desktop. But something new I just recently added was I updated my placemat. I really love putting a placemat down to use as both a mouse pad and just like a place for my keyboard to rest. So this particular one is from Urban Barn. It's like $9 and I don't know, I really like it. It's also reversible so if I want to switch it up, I can just flip it over. And moving on, I have another kind of organization box from HomeSense. This one really matches the one over there. Up top, I have my business cards. In the middle, I have my headphones. Uh, I also keep memory cards for my camera in that one. And then down below is where I keep my diffuser blends for my Sage diffuser. I've got a lamp from Ikea. This is the same lamp that you saw in my apartment tour. I also have my HP printer. And before getting into the drawers, I'll just discuss up top. I actually just added these yesterday and I love the way it looks in this space because originally if you saw my apartment tour I just had some cork boards going along horizontally across my desk but now I have these shelves to really add height to my space and if you watch any sort of decorating YouTube channel or show they always say you can make a space look bigger by adding height. I've clearly been watching too much Mr. Kate. <laughs> this frame right here is from Ikea and I included a quote from one of my favorite movies of all time. Not one of them, it's probably my favorite. It's You've Got Mail and it's this whole quote that Tom Hanks' character says about Starbucks and I've always really loved it. Uh, a photo of some family and friends, lots of photos of family and friends because I just love having photos of people that I care about in my space. I have a little succulent which is real and slightly terrifies me because I'm not really great at keeping plants alive but succulents don't really need much water so hopefully this little guy will make it through. Then I've got this cool retro TV style photo frame and because it looks like an old TV. I purposely put a photo of me and my cousins from many, many moons ago. I've got my singing bowl finally displayed. It used to just be in a box. This photo of my brother and I from oh, quite a while back that is in this frame that I just got the other day from this store called 10,000 Villages. I've never seen a frame quite like this before, so I was really excited about that one. And then up top, I have some more photos. This is my grandmother and me as a baby. A little mason jar of freshly sharpened pencils. Again, the freshly sharpened pencils line is a reference to You've Got Mail, a ceramic owl, some more artwork, a fake plant because like I said, I'm not really good at taking care of plants. And along the shelves, I also have some twinkly lights so that when I am studying at night, I can just turn those on and it's not as harsh as maybe that lamp over there. And then with the cork boards that I originally had up here, I just arranged them in a vertical line and removed some of the photos and put them in different areas in my room so that now I have more space to actually pin important paperwork. So we'll dive in a little bit into the desk itself, but first 
I'll just walk through this little organizational thing that I have here. Not too much has changed since last year, but I'll show you nonetheless. Uh, top drawer has some paper clips. The second drawer has whiteout, sharpies, glue, erasers. Not one, but two calculators here, scientific calculators, because I am in a business course that requires them, and clearly I'm paranoid that one's gonna break. I don't know why I have so many. Highlighters, and down here I've got some more pencils. And then at the bottom I have some just regular red pens, blue pens, just, just tons of pens. I seriously am not allowed to buy pens for quite some time. To the right of that I have a washi tape dispenser from Michaels, and then to the right of the washi tape dispenser I have this Tombow br dual brush pen organizer. I got this off of Amazon and obviously it's meant to hold Tombows but I don't have that many Tombows so I use it for other things as well. I love this a lot because obviously I design a lot of bullet journal spreads and this makes it really easy to see what colors I have to work with. Okay so now let's dive into these drawers. Drawer number one on the right holds all of the supplies that I use pretty frequently so I like to have it close by. This basket from Anthropology holds all of my post-it notes. I have again uh, something from Anthropology, this pineapple that's holding these beautiful gold paper clips. These clear compartments that you see I got from Dollarama and I highly recommend Dollarama for drawer organization because it's very inexpensive and it gets the job done. I've got some Crayola washable markers for my bullet journaling on a budget video, some mild liner highlighters, these you can get off of Amazon, Tombow Twin Tone markers, another post-it note section, my glasses. Second drawer I have some notebooks being held by this pop-in drawer organizer and I also have a little section here to hold my camera. My G7X usually lives right here. The next two drawers just hold some more techie things so there's nothing too exciting there. Little scooch to the left here. Drawer number one because it's at the top again holds a lot of things that I would need to use often. Tape dispenser, stapler, basic calculator, pencil case, eye clicker, a lock, hole punch. I even have a little container holding some pins for my cork boards. Last drawer I'm going to show you isn't really office related but it is an example of how I use the remaining few drawers to also organize life stuff. So I've got medication here for when I get sick, some wax strips, some Bior blackhead strips, a little container holding all of my hair ties. My bedroom isn't very big so that's one of the reasons I really like this desk system is that all of these drawers are big enough to be used for a variety of different things, not just office related goodies. And there you have that, my updated desk tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. I'd also love to hear in the comment section down below what is your favorite item that is currently on your desk. I will see you all very soon with a new video, and until then, bye guys. When the stars close bright, the summer's old. Misty bright moonlight I were told When the storm is raging in your head